Joining us now is House Armed Services Transportation and Infrastructure Committee member, Congressman John Garamendi. Congressman Garamendi, mm -hmm. what, did, what would you want to see come out of this meeting with China? I'd like to see an end to this trade war and a rebalancing of the uh, trade between the United States and China. We clearly have to push back on China. Clearly they're taking advantage of us through the WTO and that's been going on for a couple of decades. So we have to be tough, but we also have to be very, very smart about it. And it appears right now that there is significant confusion within the administration about where to go and how to get there. But you, but you would, would you agree, rather, mm -hmm. that the, President Trump has is focused on just trying to reduce our trade deficit with China? What is it, three hundred and seventy-five billion dollars annually? And he said, "I want to cut it." We originally thought it was going to be a hundred billion, then it was two hundred billion. You would agree with that? Say, it's a broad but a good starting point, negotiating point, when you sit down with the Chinese. Oh, absolutely. You can't solve this without sitting down to negotiate. Uh, you'd want to sit down. You'd want to have the. Uh, Pot, as much leverage as you could possibly have. I think a lot of that leverage was given away uh, on Sunday with the ZTE t tweet that the president set out. Hey, Congressman, it's Mike Murphy. Yes. Um, just had a question. When I look at this overall trade negotiation with China, you know, I see it as the end being where the United States of America has a better trade deal with the Chinese government. And I, and I think that's good for sure. all sides across the board. I just love your opinion on that. Well, that's the goal, isn't it? The goal is to uh, rebalance, to reduce the uh, trade deficit between the United States and China. And the president's quite right, although I'm not sure he's getting at it in the correct way, that we need to rebuild many of the manufacturing opportunities that were lost uh, over the last couple of decades to China. Uh, also, we need to understand that China has its own rising cost factors and many of the advantages that it had uh, in the previous decade do no longer exist for China. Nevertheless, our issue right now is between the United States and China. The president, by uh, tossing out his uh, tariffs, uh, by uh, implementing or attempting to implement his tariffs, really creates a very uncertain situation. I know that for agriculture in California, in my own district, which is a very, very large agricultural district in the Sacramento Valley, uh, many of the exports are already with significant increases in tariffs from China. And so we're seeing a decline in the uh, export of uh, many of the products that once went to China as a result of this entire um, discussion and what the president has set off with uh, his implementation mm -hmm. of tariffs. I want to turn to North Korea, Congressman. President sure. Trump is speaking out after North Korea's state news agency reported that Kim Jong-un was threatening to cancel the summit if joint air force drills with the South continued. Here's what the president told reporters at the White House yesterday. We Congressman Garamendi, do you think that the summit will happen? I hope it does. I think it's very, very important that this summit take place. I think it's also equally important that we go into this summit with a very clear understanding of the extraordinary difficulties that it will face. Uh, it's going to be extremely difficult. We know for the last uh, 40, 50 mm -hmm. years that North Korea isn't honest, that they'll say one thing and do something quite different, that they will clearly hide. Uh, they certainly hid their nuclear ambitions over the last 20 years or more. Uh, so we need to be very clear-eyed about this. This will not be easy. Uh, North Korea says it's going to shut down its uh, testing site. Mm -hmm. Well, in all probability, it's already shut down because there have been cave-ins in those tunnels. Beyond that, they apparently do have, not apparently, we know that they do have nuclear weapons, and so they really may not need to do further testing. The question mm -hmm. is, can we, over time, uh, in the next uh, months or mm -hmm. short period of years ahead, uh, denuclearize North Korea. That's going to be a very heavy lift, but that's ought to be our goal. Right. It's President Trump pulled out of the Iran deal. If he was unhappy with that deal, then right. any deal inked with North Korea should look 
very different, and that means complete uh, abandonment of its nuclear weapons program. Switching gears, exactly. President Trump ramping up his rhetoric against the MS-13 gang members who come to this country illegally through Mexico. The president also <clears throat> condemning the current immigration laws during a meeting with some local California from your home state leaders who oppose the, state, the state's sanctuary laws. Congressman, listen to this. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These are people. These are animals. And we're taking them out of the country at a level and at a rate that's never happened before. And because of the weak laws, they come in fast. We get them. We release them. We get them again. We bring them out. It's crazy. Congressman Garamendi, Hanford, California, just voted to oppose yeah. the California, the sanctuary state law, and will also support fe the federal lawsuit against it. Your take on what we've heard? Well, what we heard is a chaos in our immigration laws. This has been going on for maybe uh, 20 years now. It is absolutely clear that the American immigration laws don't work uh, in the society in which we live today. Uh, certainly, uh, MS-13 is a very serious gang, a very uh, violent organization. It turns out that most of their members are actually homegrown. Uh, there are some that do come in from outside. Uh, the Obama administration, like the current administration, has been very vigorous in expelling uh, felons, people that are either accused or have a criminal record or being charged with a new crime. They're being expelled. Uh, I don't know if it's a record rate, but clearly it's been going on, and that's a good thing. Uh, there are other pieces of this immigration policy that, uh, that simply don't make any sense at all. I do not like the idea of separating children from their parents. Uh, if, if, they, if a family is coming across the border, it seems to me inhumane and contrary to American so, values to separate the mother and father and put the kids in a different La detention center. Lawrence, I'll let you ask the congressman question, but I, when I heard, heard that from, say, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, yeah. I just saw that as a warning to families to try and prevent them from trying to come into yeah. the United States illegally. Exactly. But, Lawrence, your well, take. It, 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 exactly. So, Congressman, why the critique on the president uh, calling them animals? These are people that rape women and children. These are people that recruit young people to join their gang. What word would you use for these uh, gang members? Well, you can use any word, and uh, most adjectives would, most negative adjectives would apply. I think the problem uh, with that use of that word is uh, the context. Was it only applied to uh, MS-13 gang members, it was or was it applied members. broadly? Well, then, these certainly are violent criminals. So you can call them animals. You can call them any number of names, all of which would be applicable uh, because they are a, a bad bunch. As I said earlier, some do cross the border and come in. Um, so many come is, from our own society. Is Congress going to step up and do their job as it relates to immigration? Because it seems like they're stalling. Yeah. Well, it's been a stall for a long time. Back five years ago, the uh, U.S. Senate actually passed a comprehensive immigration law. Speaker Boehner at that time refused to allow it to even be heard in committee. Uh, we now have a uh, process underway here in the House of Representatives that might lead in the very near term, in the next couple, maybe uh, next month or so, maybe even sooner, to a uh, immigration bill or maybe four immigration bills coming to the floor. It's called right. the uh, Queen of the Hill process. It's a discharge issue. Uh, hopefully that will come to pass. Com we really need to pass comprehensive right. immigration reform, dealing with the border, dealing with uh, all of these issues. Congressman, great to see you this morning. Congressman you John Garamendi, I think we covered a lot of ground. And, um, Thank you. you know, it was a, a, a very level-headed conversation, something Thank that's you. Uh, <laughs> short supply these days. <laughs> Thank you so much, Congressman.